Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Poet WP. Gabriel Samadhi. Uh, today, I'm going to read some more of the Dhammapada. I like reading uh, the traditional text. This is from the Shambhala Pocket Classics. I have like a bunch of these different volumes. I like the little books. This is the original, right? And then there's another version where it's like, you know, it gives the text and then like explanations kind of and like more, you know, but this is, this other one is just the straight text without all the commentary. I prefer this. I make the commentary in my own mind. But this is good too. Thomas Clary did a good job. Um, anyway, <laughs> I rambled on about over a minute. Let's pick up where I left off. Sorry. There we go. Put my Alex Gray bookmark down. There we go. Old Age, Part 11. Fitting that the 1111 is coming up. The world is on fire. And are you laughing? You are deep in the dark. Will you not ask for light? For behold, your body, a painted puppet, a toy, jointed and sick and full of false imaginings, a shadow that shifts and fades. How frail it is. Frail and pestilent, it sickens, festers, and dies, like every living thing. In the end, it sickens and dies. Behold these whitened bones, the hollow shell, and the husks of a dying summer. And are you laughing? You are a house of bones, flesh and blood for plaster. Pride lives in you, and hypocrisy, decay, and death. The glorious chari chariots of kings shatter. So also the body turns to dust. But the spirit of purity and changeless, but the spirit of purity is changeless. And so the pure instruct the pure. The ignorant man is an ox. He grows in size, not in wisdom. Vainly I sought the builder of my house through countless lies. <clears throat> I could not find him. How hard it is to tread life after life. But now I see you, O builder, and never again shall you build my house. I have snapped the rafters, split the ridge pole, and beaten out desire, and now my mind is free. There are no fish in the lake. The long-legged crane stands in the water. Sad is the man who in his youth lived loosely and squandered his fortune. Sad as a broken bow, and sadly is he sighing. After all, that has arisen and passed away. Thank you uh, for tuning in. <laughs> and uh, tuning in, it's an old school saying. I hope you can take some inf in inspiration out of my reading of the Dhammapada. I'll try and do some more poetry soon. And, uh, Check you on the next one.